What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're taking a look at a couple more of these Amigo uh, action figures. And the ones we're looking at today are from uh, one of my favorite comedy movies of all time, uh, made by Mel Brooks, and that is Young Frankenstein. That's Frankenstein. I beg your pardon? So the figures that we're looking at today are um, the monster and also Dr. Frankenstein. Frankenstein. You're putting me on. And I think these figures look fantastic. And uh, we'll take a look at this one first. And you'll notice um, that they reused uh, several parts on this figure. Uh, this jacket, actually, I believe is the same lab coat that was used uh, for the fly figure. And I believe these pants are the same ones that were used for the Richie Cunningham figure. And I'm almost positive these shoes have appeared before in one or more of the previous figures. So I don't recognize uh, this uh, shirt, um, so that might be the only unique uh, clothing item on this particular figure. Both these figures uh, use the older style Mego body from 2018, and uh, so I'm going to leave these in the package for now because I already know what the articulation is like on them. So, uh, But I will put a link in the description to uh, the video where I go over the articulation on various uh, Mego figures, and I'll also put a link uh, to the video where I introduce the new Mego body and do a side-by-side -side comparison between that body and the newer designed one. The newer designed one has 26 points of articulation as opposed to the 14 points of articulation on these figures. So these ones are a little bit older. These came out in uh, 2021 and I think they did a fantastic job on the head sculpt. Uh, as you can see that very much does look like Gene Wilder as he portrayed the role uh, in the film. So yeah, I think that looks really fantastic. I'm very happy they, they did this figure. And on the back of the package, uh, you can see a picture of uh, a still from the movie of uh, Dr. Frankenstein. Dr. Frankenstein. Frankenstein. And so that looks really cool. And there's also the right up here on Marty Abrams and also credit given to the various contributors who helped uh, make this particular action figure. So looks really great. And they also have up here in the corner is the world's greatest Mego movie. So sometimes they change this up and sometimes it says world's greatest Mego monsters. So, you know, this sort of varies uh, from figure to figure. Um, but I think it's kind of cool. Very uh, cool looking graphics up there in the corner. So that looks great. And then over here on the monster, uh, you know, uh, he's done up in the um, sort of tuxedo. And uh, th for those of you who've seen the movie, uh, there's actually a song and dance number uh, where um, Gene Wilder and the monster sort of do this thing on stage where they perform uh, the song, Putting on the Ritz. Uh, it's a very funny scene, and um, I'm very glad they depicted the monster this way. This is the only version they've done of this particular character. I'm hoping maybe they'll re-release -re a version where he's in more traditional monster clothing. So, uh, but uh, overall, I think it looks great. And they actually released this twice. Um, so once on an individual card, and then also as part of a box set, which I think was a Walmart exclusive. So it comes with uh, both the monster and Dr. Frankenstein. My name, it's pronounced Frankenstein. And they're both wearing uh, the same tuxedo and they have the hat. And the cane so um so that yeah there's two different versions and then on the back of the package you can see a nice big picture of the character and also the write-up on marty abrams and the credit given to various contributors overall i'm very happy with these figures i think they look really fantastic and i don't know um if they're gonna do more um they did do an igor figure now it's pronounced igor but they told me it was igor well they were wrong then weren't they but that particular figure, uh, it looked a little strange to me. It was, um, I know uh, Marty Feldman, who played that character, um, is kind of an unusual looking guy, but um, the, char the characterization on the action figure, it just looked a little too over the top cartoony. So I ended up not picking up that figure. It, to me, it just didn't really do justice to the character. So um, yeah, so there is one other figure uh, in this um, line. Uh, but again, I don't have that one in my collection and probably won't uh, pick that one up. I, again, it just looks a little goofy to me. So uh, I'm hoping maybe they'll do some more characters. Um, I'd, I'd love it if they did uh, Frau Blucher. I am Frau Blucher. That would be a very cool uh, character to do. 
And there's other uh, various characters in that movie uh, that could be done as action figures. But uh, it'll all depend on how well these sold. Uh, and I don't really have the stats on, you know, how well this particular line of action figures did. Uh, young Frankenstein. No, it's pronounced Frankenstein. Do you also say Froderick? No, Frederick. Although uh, very popular among a certain set of fans, uh, I don't know if it necessarily appeals to a, a broad audience in terms of uh, what people want to collect. So, so only time will tell. We'll see uh, if they do more figures in this series. Blocker. That's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Like Gary Cooper. Cooper, Cooper. And if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, uh, think about subscribing to my channel. Well, why isn't it Froderick Frankenstein? It isn't. It's Frederick Frankenstein. I see. Until next time, I hope you're having a great day, and thanks for watching.